that I'm going to show you is uh, the shopping behavior report. And this is one of the out of the box report of uh, Google, uh, Google's new enhanced e-commerce. And uh, this report is, um, you know, you know it, it can explain, uh, you know, how progression to the transaction is happening. How, you know, there, there are different sessions and then sessions with the product view and then sessions with add to cart, checkout and the transaction. If you take a look at this uh, report, you can immediately identify that uh, when you when you uh, there is huge op opportunity to improve, uh, you know, the people transitioning from product views to add to cart. So people are not doing add to carts. Uh, so so there is huge opportunity for A/B test at a product view level or product detail space level, and it's so apparent that you know that most people actually do not uh, add product to the cart. Interestingly, if if you can break this funnel down and, and see, this is more problematic in case of the new visitor. New visitors are not really converting very well uh, because if you see new visitors are converting at uh, almost half the rate of uh, you know the, the returning visitors, which means that. Uh, you know, you really have to work immediately on uh, enticing this new visitor to get through the conversion funnel very quickly. Uh, in returning visitors, you're doing fine, but, but there's immediate need for new visitors. Maybe you can do a, you know, free shipping for the first order, or, or maybe you can use other tactics to sort of improvise upon this. But just one report, and you are able to identify huge number of actions that you can take from this report. So so that's why we think this is a game game changer. That's why that's precisely why we think that this can make a huge impact. Uh, the next report that I'm going to show you is a product performance report. And product performance report gives you a list of uh, you know all the action that happens to a given product like views, add to cart, remove from the cart, check out, unique purchases, cart to detail, and buy to detail. So cart to detail is a ratio of number of cart views for a product divided by the uh, number of uh, product detail views. And similarly you have buy to detail as well, the number of transactions divided by number of product details as well. So when you have this data for all the products, it becomes so easy to generate insight and start taking action. You know, I'll, I'll give you a quick example. Check out the product number six, right? I'm just highlighting it for you. It's it's very easy for me to really quickly find out the insight, uh, as it's my day job. But 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 it's so easy, right? Uh, Nine percent people actually buy from a product view for this product number six, and twenty one percent adds to the cart after seeing the product, which essentially means that. You know, people do add a product to the cart, but they don't convert enough, which means that either there is a problem with the shipping cost or uh, there is some other problem that they are able to identify after they add a product to the cart, and then they sort of decide not to purchase this. Uh, so you know exactly where the largest amount of the problem that exists for your store for a set of products uh, and that way you can immediately start taking action based on these reports. The next report that I'm going to show you and this is hopefully the last one but I hope that's not boring for you but uh, the brand performance report that you see is, is a out of the box report again for a set of brands that you have tracked using enhanced e-commerce and you can immediately identify that these set of brands uh, brand number from two to six do not perform very well compared to the average which means that if you're a buyer if you're a store owner or if you're a director uh, you can immediately ask these brands that you guys are not doing enough uh, pull for your brands or or your brands are not performing up to the mark on our store, maybe you should sort of do some more investments in the branding or maybe you should change the pricing strategy to, uh, to take these custom, taste, take these brands uh, 
to have an improved buy to detail ratio or eventually more people resulting into the buy. Uh, the last report that I have to show you is the coupons report and coupons report can show you amazing insights in terms of what kind of coupons work very well for you. So if you look at the, these coupons, uh, let's say you build a coupon for uh, you know, increasing the revenue or a top line, you can, you can build the coupons like this which sort of has a less average order value but there are more people using these coupons uh, and more transaction being generated. However, if you want to sort of drive coupons or, or make coupons to drive more profit or uh, you want to sell higher value items, you can actually do the coupons which are similar to these. So you can know that you know, are these coupons uh, driving the objective that you have in mind? If the profit is your objective, you should check you know, how this item number six is doing. If you're objective is transaction how the item number two is doing so that way you can understand the coupons performance as well and this is again and the out-of-box report from the enhanced e-commerce uh, that you get